Welcome to this tutorial on downloading multimedia from the web to use in your video project. If you're using a voiceover in your video, I recommend writing your script first because that's the primary driving force in your video and what you really want to say. That becomes the skeleton or structure for the rest of your media in your timeline. After you've written your script, you can start to insert portions of it into a storyboard template and plan out what visual aids you want on screen at that point in the video. Before you start downloading media, I'm going to highly recommend creating a neat folder structure for your project. You'll definitely need a main folder named as your project folder. Inside that folder, you can create folders for images, audio files, scripts, raw video clips, exported videos, and so on. This will save you a great deal of time and headaches down the road when you have a ton of files. And this is especially important because of the way many video editors link to the files you're using and if you decide to rename, move, or organize files after they're in your video timeline, you break those links and get errors. Now you're ready to search for your media. I'm going to show you my top recommended websites to find Creative Commons music, sound effects, and images, as well as a method for downloading videos or music from YouTube. These websites have a wide selection of copyright-free media and they're trusted, tried, and true. Please don't waste your time doing Google image searches or Googling other sites for free content because there are a lot of scam sites, viruses, and everything you find on the web has an intrinsic copyright unless it's explicitly labeled as Creative Commons or Public Domain. So if you use unapproved content, especially music, your video could be taken down, the audio removed, or you could get sued. So firstly, my favorite website for downloading Creative Commons music is Incompetech.com. This site gives you access to a vast collection of professional quality music of many genres created by the acclaimed musician Kevin MacLeod. From the main page, click the first tab for royalty-free music. Then, click the full search button. From here, you can choose your genre, and I recommend the soundtrack genre. Then, you can choose the mood you're trying to create in your video, and it should be instrumental and somewhat ambient, meaning no lyrics or excessive noise to distract from your voiceover. In this case, I'm going to choose Uplifting and click Search. Now, I can listen to these songs by clicking the play button. I can also fast forward and stop. I think this one is a bit too fast paced, so let's try this one. I like this one, so I'll click this blue download button and choose to save the file. Some browsers will ask you where you want to save the file. In this case, it's gone into my downloads folder by default. So I'm going to move it from there to its proper home in my audio folder for the project. If you click the More button by the Download button, he even gives you the info to paste into your credits. Isn't that convenient? You can copy and paste it into a Word document if you don't have your video timeline started yet. Don't forget to save this information because you don't want to have to waste time looking it up again later. Now this is the best resource I know of for downloading Creative Commons images. Flickr.com slash Creative Commons and there's no E in Flickr. From here, you can choose to search from millions of photos with different CC licenses. We'll click the See More link under Attribution License because it's the simplest one. Then you enter in your search terms, cats. And if I want to download one of these, I'll click on it and notice this symbol here, which means it's under an Attribution CC License which means simply the author wants you to credit them along with your work, just like we did with the music. To download it, you need to click this download icon in the lower right hand corner. Choose the highest resolution you can, usually the one that says original. You can always shrink images down in your video, but you can't blow up tiny images or you get pixelation. I'll select save file and click OK. Again, I'm going to move it into its proper folder, but first I'm going to rename the file with the author's name so I can attribute them in my credits. 
If you want to be really thorough about your citation, for example, if you're going to be making money off of your work or something, you can click the link where it says Some Rights Reserved, and that will give you the link to the specific license info. You can copy and paste this into your credit stock and eventually put it in the description info on YouTube or whatever hosting service you're using. Now I'm going to drag the image into my images folder like so. Now you might not find your image on your first search and if this happens you can broaden your search by clicking where it says license and changing any license to Creative Commons only. This will search all combinations of the various CC licenses. If you do this, you will want to click the license info down here to see what rights the author has claimed and how you can share their work. I want to show you one more resource that should come in handy for everyone. It's called clipconverter.cc. And what it allows you to do is download video or music directly from YouTube for use in your video project. Once again, I want to highly dissuade you against downloading copyrighted music and putting it into your video, especially if your final product is going back on YouTube. Major record labels can and will remove your audio. Trust me, it's happened to me. However, the good news is you can download covers of popular songs by independent artists and YouTubers. There are also millions of videos on YouTube which are licensed as Creative Commons for you to use. Here's how it works. Go to eng.letscc.net, search for your song or video footage, and click on Videos. When you find something you like, go directly to that link and copy the web address. Then, go to clipconverter.cc and paste that URL in the first field. Next, click Continue. It gives you some options, but it chooses the highest quality by default, so if you want video, just leave it as is and click Start. When it's done processing, uncheck this little box if it's there, and click the Download button. When it's done, remember to move it into your raw video footage folder for this project. This is a multi-step process, so I'm going to do it one more time quickly to show you how to get an audio file. Step 1. Let's cc.net search. Step 2. Go to the video link and copy it. Step 3. Paste it into clipconverter.cc and click continue. Now, step 4 is a bit different. Click MP3 for an audio file. And don't be fooled by this download button. You still have to click start. And click download. Now, you know what to do with this file. Don't leave it to get lost in the sea of download files. Put it in its proper folder for your project. And remember to name it with the author's name for attribution and include this information in your credits. And that's it. Now you know how to responsibly and legally access a huge quantity of multimedia resources and to cite that media in your credits. And I hope you use this to create some awesome work of your own. Thanks for watching.